If you guys want to look at this device further or want to get one of these for yourself, check out the link I put in the description down below and let's get started. So first I'll show you what you get inside of this box when you purchase one of these and sell BD310 OBD2 scanner. Then we'll take it out to the car so we can test out its features and see how well it actually performs. Now this does have a two inch full color display right here. And there's a couple of buttons in here to control the scanner if we decide not to use the app. Now the back of it is plastic, but this part right here is metal. And the reason for that metal is that we get this little mount. Now this mount can slide into the vent of our car and then this can magnetically clip onto it so we can display this in our car and we can view it that way securely. In addition to that little mount you get this little USB cord which can be used to update the scanner or to connect the scanner to the computer. And here's the Ancel BD310 OBD2 scanner. Now I have just plugged this in into my OBD port and the screen automatically comes up and it's telling me that it is in Bluetooth mode. And I said that this can work both with the app or by itself. So first, let me show you how to use it by itself. As you can see, there's a button here on the side. And if I press that, it will switch to a standalone operation. So I don't need to use the app. And you can see that the first function is the OBD2 function, which allows us to read codes from the car. And I'm gonna use the keys in the bottom to navigate. Now this particular car does have an engine check engine light. So yep, it says that the check engine light is on. And you can see that there's a couple of options in here to choose from. We can choose to read the codes that are in the car. And I'm gonna click read codes. And I'm gonna say, show me the current codes that have been set. Okay, now it has pulled up the code. The code, I can see it, it's, it's a nice large font, PO443, and then it tells me a short description of what the code is. And at this point, I can take this code and put it on the internet or look at my service manual to find out how do I can resolve this issue. Now, if I have already fixed the code and replaced the censored or whatever issue that caused it, I can go ahead and delete the codes. Now, I don't wanna delete the code if I have not fixed the issue because otherwise it will just come back. And the next option is probably gonna be one of the the most helpful ones on this scanner and that is the emission readiness test and we can click on that one and we can confirm if this car is ready or not for smog now it will tell you on here what things are ready to go you can see that it says okay 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 which systems are not ready yet you can see that it says incomplete right here and you also will see which systems are not in this car so it says not applicable so this is convenient because it can save me a trip of having to go to the smog station and get my car rejected or fail because i can check on here when it's ready to be smog and the next option is going to be data stream option which allows us to see real-time data being displayed on the scanner now this is going to vary from car to car depending on what sensors do we have on the car and what the computer can send to the scanner and i'll briefly turn on the car so we can see how that looks okay so the car is on as you can see some of the data has already begun to stream now for example we can see that the rpm is being shown and if i give it a little gas we can see the responsiveness of that data stream. We can see things like the air, intake air temperature, throttle position. There is so much things on here, but again, they're gonna be depending on your car and what systems are supported. And the next option is the freeze frame option. If for some reason you have a check engine light in your car, the car has saved a snapshot of the main parameters of what the car was doing at the time that the code got set. So if I go on freeze frame, I can pull that data and see what exactly was the car doing when the code was set. Now this is gonna be very helpful again for an experienced mechanic that gives you an idea or a hint into what went wrong. Now the EVAP system test is going to be another helpful option for those who are testing to see if they have a problem with their evaporative system. However, I will warn you, don't start this test unless you know how to stop it. Some cars are sensitive to starting this test and once you start that test, you have to wait for it to complete before you can resume normal operation. And the next option right here is vehicle information. This can pull basic data such as the bin number, but also the calibration ID 
and the verification number. Now, why is that important? Well, the smog check folks are checking for this to see if your computer has been tampered with. And also, if you're buying a car and you want to check if that if they have the original programming, you can use the vehicle information to pull that information and confirm that the vehicle's computer integrity has so far not been tampered with. And the next option in the scanner is the meter option. And this is where we can use this scanner as a gauge in our car when we're driving to see real time data, but not in tiny little numbers, in a larger graphical interface. And I'll turn the car on again so we can see that in action. <laughs> So you can see now how larger the numbers are. So if we are potentially driving, it's a little bit more visible than looking at smaller numbers. And you can cycle through the different screens and get graphical representations of what the car is doing. This particular one is the speed of the car against the RPMs. Now, a lot of this stuff right here is gonna be great for basic troubleshooting. There is a ton more stuff that we can do with the app. And next is the emissions readiness test. Now I already show you that we can see if the car is ready for smog or not with the OBD2 function. However, I like that they included this function right here because if I'm not a mechanic, I can just click on it and look for green colors. So this has simplified the screen and has made it into a color coded screen. And if we see green, that means we are good to go. Now, ideally we wanna see green on everything that is applicable to this car. For example, the cat right here has an X, which means it's not ready yet. It has to turn into a green before I go to the smog. Now the next one, H cat, that has a not applicable sign. So this one will never turn green. I don't have to worry about it. But before I go to smog test, I will wanna make sure that all the ones that can turn green have turned green. I'm moving on to the app. You can see that I have mounted the Ancel BD310 OBD scanner on my dash with the magnetic mount. And it's in Bluetooth mode, and I have already downloaded the app and paired it with the device. Now, every time you fire up the app, not only does it connect to the device, it runs a check, a health check basically on your car, which is very helpful because it will show you if you have any pending trouble codes, if the car is ready for smog, it's a nice summary screen. And I can hit OK on that and we can see all the features of the app. Now the first one is gonna be diagnostics, which is gonna be very similar to what we were doing with the scanner, which means pulling codes from the car. This car has no codes. However, if there have been any codes, we can clear them and that will make the check engine light go away. And one advantage of using the app to pull the codes versus using the standalone scanner is that if we had any codes, we can automatically search for what that code means versus in the scanner where I have to write down the code and then go type it up in the internet. In here, this will bump us directly to the internet with the code so we don't have to do any of that manual work. And the interface is kind of like a wheel that you turn to find the option that you want. I'm gonna hit the monitor one. Now the monitor one is very similar to what I showed you earlier on being able to tell if the car is ready for smog or not. As you can see on here, all the blue ones say that they are finished. So this car is completely ready for smog. The ones that have a question mark says it doesn't support it. So this car is ready. And the next option is performance test. Now this uses the existing sensors on our phone with the app and then with the communication with the OBD2 device to calculate a couple of performance metrics. We can see how fast the acceleration is. We could take it out on the road and measure zero to 60 if we wanted to. But the advantage of doing this with this system is that we actually have live readings <laughs> Look at this, from the car. Uh, as opposed to some of the apps that you download, free apps where you can see your zero to 60 that don't connect to the car, this is really interfacing to our system. And the next option is the trip function. Now the trip function allows us to monitor a trip and when I say a trip, this is perhaps going to be best used for the track. If you want to have a record of what happened, what activity happened when you were at the track, you can use this for that. You can record the highest speed you have achieved, the highest RPM, what the total average speed. You could also see what the coolant temperature was, what the lowest or the highest, which could give you a hint of whether the car was overheating at some point. And the next option is the battery check. 
Now this option right here will check what the current voltage is on the car and if I hit start it will prompt to turn off the car to get a reference value and compare those two. Now between the point where the car gets turned off and when the car gets turned on it will tell you how much time have elapsed, what the lowest voltage was and what the maximum voltage is. And if you are not familiar with voltages we can see on here that they have provided us with a quick reference chart that allows us to see what the normal voltages of a battery should be allowing us to get an idea of the health of the battery in our car and the wheel keeps on turning you can see that there are more options on here that make this scanner a very robust diagnostic system and i mentioned earlier that we can use the scanner as a performance gauge and we saw that earlier when i showed data on the smaller screen right here but if we use the app we have a dashboard option and as you can see the dashboard option shows us a gauge in a larger size obviously much nicer colors and resolution but live data and we can customize this gauge to be whatever information we want to pull from the car as long as the car supports it in this case it's showing us rpms which will be helpful if you're going to the track this particular one is showing us vehicle speed and ect which is our engine coolant temperature and we can again adjust the size and position of those gauges now on the third dashboard right here i have selected the three different styles so you can see all of them we have a digital style and two analog styles to choose from so that's pretty cool again all of them can be customized to show what you want to see but now let's test the heads up functionality of this device which allows us to display these gauges directly onto our windshield so here's what the heads up display mode looks like and as you can see the phone is placed on the dash and the app has been set to heads up display mode and as you can see the gauge has changed into a square that shows the rpm and we're pulling live data from the car so you can see how it pulls the data and projects it on the screen windshield that way now you do have the same three dashboards that can be customized to show the data that you are curious in seeing when you are driving and here's the last dashboard with a potential six different gauges now in order for you to use the heads of display mode I would definitely strongly recommend one of those anti-slip mats for the phone where the phone can be placed on the dash and it won't move when you're driving also they do have a, what they call a heads up display film that you can apply over the windshield and it's a little tiny square I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to look at that film and if you want to look at the mount itself now I do wish the background or behind the gauges was black instead of white that way we would only see the gauges maybe they can add that in a future update and towards the bottom of the app we have a couple of more options one is to create a profile for ourselves but the one that I really like is to create a profile for every car now in here we can save every car that we tested and by year VIN number name of the car and we can track the history of that car that way this is very convenient if you are testing multiple cars especially if you're doing this as a business where you are checking and fixing people's cars this can give you an idea of what it was before and what it was after also it will be helpful for you if you own multiple cars to be able to track them that way and finally in the app settings we can change not only the settings of the obd2 scanner we can also set alarms now an alarm will be very helpful if for example i want to make sure that i don't exceed 88 miles per hour and travel back in time i can tell this device to warn me of not going past that speed <laughs> and also if i wanted to make sure i don't overheat i could set an alarm to tell me when the car reaches a certain temperature now this is helpful if you are driving in some kind of performance event and you want to have that notification without having to look at the dash and finally you can set an alarm for driving perhaps you want to be notified every hour or so not to fall asleep so it's pretty impressive to see what the Ansel BD310 scanner can do not only is it an OBD2 scanning device it is a wireless OBD2 dongle that connects to our phone with the app and I do like that they put a lot of thought into the app not only into giving us different uh, functionality of it but into being able to save profiles for cars that as a mechanic is very helpful for me I also like how small the unit is and that it can be mounted very quickly on and off the car because of the 
the magnetic mount and just be enough to the side as a little gauge I can take a quick glance at it and confirm that everything is okay so if you guys have any other questions regarding this OBD2 scanner please put that in the comments down below remember I put a link down there in the description if you want to look at this scanner further or get one for yourselves and if you found any part of this video helpful please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and I have a lot more cool videos coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned so you don't miss any of those cool gadgets thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one